Hello everyone, this is Taide Aburto. I'm the President and CEO of the Hispanic Chamber of E-Commerce. Today I want to talk to you about economic empowerment, um, something that it has been kind of like the, the, the flagship of our organization. Everything that we do around the Hispanic Chamber of E-Commerce is with the ultimate goal of trying to uh, help small businesses to become more competitive in the marketplace, uh, whether it's through education, through innovation, through the use of the internet as a business tool. Um, back in 2008, uh, we realized that there was a, uh, uh, a digital gap between the general market and the Latino market in the, in the business community. And we tried to put together a concept and we actually end up doing it with the uh, Hispanic Chamber of E-Commerce, um, a, a business association that could help small businesses to understand how to use technology and how to use the internet to become more competitive in the marketplace. Um, we know uh, that there are a lot of resources out there, like if you want to learn how to uh, build a website, how to use social media to market your business, etc. There are a lot of resources out there from very qualified professionals that are sharing uh, their expertise through videos, through online courses and stuff. But there wasn't an organization that could build a network around it that could help to generate new business opportunities, new access to, um, to markets, etc. Uh, in the Hispanic business community with an online uh, platform. And that's exactly uh, what we end up doing. We end up creating this online platform that it allows us um, to give our members uh, additional vis visibility to the one that they can uh, create by themselves by utilizing all these uh, tools that are available uh, for them and it has worked uh, pretty well so far. One of the reasons why we keep doing what we're doing is because we have seen um, the uh, results that we expect from the work that we do on a, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, etc. So <clears throat> I think it is very important as our community continues to grow, and what I'm, when I mean uh, community, I mean the uh, business community, as we continue to grow in numbers, we know that we're one of the uh, fastest growing groups of uh, entrepreneurs in the country. It is very important that we keep uh, investing in ourselves, investing in our companies, so we can not be uh, behind the market, uh, the market averages, the market uh, trends. Uh, it's very important that we're always uh, evolving as the market is evolving. Uh, it's very important that we're always educating ourselves, learning new uh, skills, learning new concepts that it can allow us to, uh, uh, to compete at the highest level on everything that we're doing. Um, <clears throat> because something that I have seen, and it's pretty unfortunate that it's happening that way in, uh, in California and in and some other areas in the country where we have a high uh, penetration in, in the marketplace, is that a lot of our businesses are underperforming when you compare them to similar businesses, you know, in size and and, and, and in similar markets, they are underperforming in the marketplace because they are not utilizing the resources that they should be utilizing or because they don't have the, uh, uh, the foundation of a business uh, structured in a way that they can compete in a more uh, professional and a more effective uh, way in the marketplace. So. As we continue to grow, we, as we continue to expand, I think it's very important for business associations like ours and like other Hispanic chambers across the country to focus their efforts on trying to support the small business community to the best of their abilities. 
I know that it takes a lot of uh, time, a lot of uh, money, and it takes a lot of resources to provide uh, the need that, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to provide the, uh, the support that is demanded by uh, the business community. But, you know, within our own capabilities, we can keep contributing to the uh, growth and development of the business community. I, I strongly believe that uh, the effort that uh, Chambers of Commerce, Hispanic Chambers of Commerce are doing across the country, especially those that are doing things the right way, because unfortunately, like in, any, uh, like in anything else, uh, there are a lot of Hispanic Chambers that are not performing to the expectations that they should, especially in market places or in, in markets where uh, the Hispanic business community is fairly large. But uh, I think eventually at some point they will have to improve their operation if they want to keep uh, relevant uh, in the market, if they want to keep having a strong uh, presence in, in the marketplace. They are going to have to evolve. They are going to have to improve the way that they operate. They're going to have to have better programs and initiatives initiatives uh, for the business community. But that set aside, um, like I said, if you're a business owner, I encourage you to invest as much time, money, and resources necessary that can allow you uh, to better compete in the marketplace. Because if your business is underperforming, you are working for your business and your business is not working for you. And that's the way it has to be. We have to stop being uh, slaves of our own enterprise. We have to structure the business in a way that it allows us to do uh, other things and not just uh, the business. You know, if you, you best the nine to five, that's fine. Then you have, you know, the weekends free for the family and stuff. So think about that. Think about the ways that you can uh, invest uh, the right resources in your business that can allow you to uh, grow to the level that you always wanted. So if we can help you with anything, if we can make the introductions with people that can help you to uh, grow your business, to help you to become more competitive in the marketplace, please contact us. We have a good network within our organization. We have really good contacts all across the country that can help you uh, to reach your goals. It is very important that you have the right strategy, the right resources, and the right vision to get to where you want to be. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Taide Burto. I'm the president and CEO of the Hispanic Chamber of e-commerce. Thank you again for everything that you do. And please reach out to us if we can help you with anything. Thank you.